Yo, good morning, peeps. How we doing? Um, yesterday's video seemed like a bit of a doom and gloom one, didn't it? But I think sometimes you got to have them moments. Sometimes it's not even like you snap your fingers and you feel better. But the videos are the videos, and there's going to be some stuff that's going to be interesting going on. So I'm currently sat here with my customary coffee break. It's like five past seven. I'll be honest with you. I could have just stayed at home and started editing, but I thought I'm going to just get a coffee. I'm going to write a few more memoirs in my bits and books. I've got a meet, I've got like a, a mental meeting tonight about like all of that stuff that's going on. And yeah, in the meantime, figure out a few lives and think of some places to go in some charity shops I've not been before and show people some cool bits. What I want to do, one thing I want to do, uh, and if I don't gravitate to this idea quicker, then I'll do it in a different form, is I want to like find football related stuff in charity shops. Anytime I've been posting, showing football tops, people will go mad for it. Uh, I remember doing the football boots video and that had like 700,000 views or something daft. So, yeah. That was my sending a message. Um, Subway's open at 7 a.m. That's got to be too early for a Subway, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to go get a coffee now. Bye. So, time is, I think, 8.38. I got a live at eight, well, at nine o'clock, just getting Marge a coffee and me one. Americano one shot, she wants, and I'm gonna have a, I think I'm gonna have just a, a latte today. I think I'm gonna have a, a, a taller drink. Uh, yeah, this is just pointless content, but just getting ready for the live today. Um, individual items, bit of this, bit of that. And we've also got somebody coming for a potential, um, the, the kid, not the kid. Uh, I've also had more imaginative, not imaginative, I've also had more creative soon. The guy who we're going to get to employ to help us move a lot of the big, like, heavy stuff around. That's interesting. These are kicking off about this. I look like I'm actively passing this on, but apparently, because since this coffee shop's been here, people have had problems with parking. Could a fire engine get by? I mean, this road's definitely bigger, big enough to get a fire engine by, but you know, people will have their corners, won't they? I feel like I want to get a customary shot to just be like, look, I'm somewhere different, but I haven't got anything else to add yet. All I can say is I think that with the, with the live stream, oh, bless you. That's a really, look at that small latte art. What's the coolest thing you've made with latte art? Um, I'm not very advanced. Oh, did you smile before saying that? You was like, no, what? Somebody said they've done a swan before. Can you do any latte art? I'm learning. Yeah, what have you learned? Do one of them. I You know, I, I, I would just do it as one big, like, slug to be honest with you. Wait, but I did like... We're going to have some latte art coming, I think. What do we think about this one? Can we rate this one out of, like... No, we No, what? Not the internet. You know when you look at the clouds and you make a reason for it? Look, it's like a really dribbly heart with, like, kind of big wings on it. Really sorry, Marge. I've just got to pause the music for a moment to let you know about something that happened yesterday that you wasn't informed with. I'm just going to have to do the custom way, clean the camera. So, did I... Hang on. Did I tell you how I went to a charity shop to see a certain somebody who works at one yesterday? No. Right, so there's one that I go to, um, and essentially, they're the ones that have been needing a few more menswear bits. Sorry, I didn't mean to be boring. No, sorry. It's um, early morning. <laughs> I know. The up. time is um, 10 to 11 or something. Yeah, no, it's not. It's 10 to 9. Um, no, so anyway, went to this charity shop, and the woman said, like, oh, um, they needed help like, getting menswear. Somebody left a comment on TikTok and said, oh, you should donate some menswear to them. So what I thought to do is I'll give them some menswear and put the prices on them. So I'll be like, we'll just donate them 100 items of menswear that they can sell in the shop and I can make the video about it. Yeah. The issue with it is, is I can't give them items with prices on them knowingly and they'd have to be in donation bags. So they will have prices on, but I can't make the content. So essentially, if these all represented prices, I couldn't take these in and say, here you go. They'd have to be wrapped in a bag so it's yeah. disguised as a, a donation. So that's what I'm going to do with some of these bits. Oh, okay. So it's just either that or some of the kilo stuff, just to take them some menswear and just help price her up. So put literally like 50 of these around and then we're going to go and through. And that's what they want, they want help with the pricing. Well, she says basically, hang on, if in doubt, put the name on it. Um, for the camera, judge. No, she was just like, I watch your TikTok videos and it's really good. But she went, but because of the way that charity shops work, I can't directly say to you, yeah, come into the shop and bring all the donations. They can't do it like that. And I was saying, like, how cool would that be a video to, for, like, a title to say, I helped price a charity shop. Because that's, like, a, oh, yeah, my... Yeah, yeah. But there's that, that legality or, like, that formality of, like, I can't directly just take the stuff in. 
That's silly, really, though, isn't it? Uh, but I am. But I'm just basically for YouTube. YouTube, you're going to get the full scope of the video. Um, but TikTok's not. Because TikTok's the one that will get the most views because it's... But what I'm saying is, tomorrow I'm going to this charity shop. But... Some but tomorrow, today even, we're going to go somewhere after this. So we've got a guy coming in at 12. Got a live now for about two hours. And then... Marge's friend, what's her name? Karen? Karen? Karen. And what, can you just explain what she actually has? Um, there's a charity called Sofa that I'm sure a lot of people uh, know about, and you donate furniture there. And some of it, if it's good to go, Is they it just, just furniture. I think so. I think so. Um, but some things get upcycled, good. So they've got one level of it where, and that's what she does, refurbishes and upcycles things. So they can, and these people are all volunteers. So they're not being paid so, and they upcycle them and then make more money for the charity. Which so far, I think it's for homeless people, isn't it? Because when you say for surf, it's for... For a good cause. Yeah, so what we're going to do... People. So what we're going to do, this guy, what's he called? Owen? George. George. Um, he's coming in at 12. Mm-hmm. He's just coming in for 10 minutes, is he? Well, just yeah, see how long. Bring a list of when he can work. Oh, okay. So he's not coming in to do a shift, is he? No, he's... no. That's fine. So after that, we're going to go Lindsay and Charlie are down there. Yeah. That's sweet. What are they up to? They're preparing more stuff for Tilt. And then they're going to organise a bit more for the kilo sales. Ooh, yes. The kilo sale is actually coming. On the 22nd of June. And we need to start advertising it uh, from the 22nd of soon. Yes. I need to like figure... Soon. I think when I did that last time... So you probably won't know this, but the last time we did, because um, I'm thinking about the TikTok advertisement, it was when I did the bales and said you could buy them. The kilo sales seem to have no problem. What I've noticed is when you advertise an, an in-person event, it doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Because there was a lot of hype. Uh, I was doing a lot of videos around the kilo yeah, sale. And to be honest with you, if I start using TikTok for it, I'm a bit intrigued to see where it goes. At the moment, there's a lot. Lots of people come. Deb's made, my sister's made us some bunting, because Spencer doesn't like balloons, so she's made us some bunting. Nah, bun balloons are <laughs> shit. I'm going to still put balloons out. Balloons do, you want to know one, do you want to know one of the main reasons I don't like balloons? Is the same reason I don't have my toilet seat when I have a shower. There's a scene in the film Stephen King's It where he's, the guy's in the library and he's reading a book and then t t Tim Curry, a.k.a. the clown, starts popping balloons with, and blood pissing out of them. And to be honest with you, that clown scared the shit out of me for more than my lifetime. I think for my lifetime after me. Mm. I think that's DNA built in. So yeah, and the toilet seat because his head or the blood coming out of the toilet seat just comes anywhere near water. But most importantly, there's three minutes to go, and we need to get ready to rumble with it. So yeah, we'll see you on the next one. But that's what's going on today. Time is seventeen eighteen past eleven. I'm getting better at reading the time. These are the couple items we sold, but also all of these we sold. So we did sixty nine today, and we did sixty nine yesterday. And I'll be honest with you. Loads of items, just really nice bits, going for really good prices. Like, and what was good is a lot of these went that were picked up from the um, from the car boots. So this was, I gave this big bag that was in the back of the um, van. You might have seen it the other day, and there was loads of stuff. Like literally, loads of these items were just from uh, the car boot. A lot of them are from the new stuff, and just a kind of mixture. But I tell you what, I notice, and I reckon Marge will agree. It's sometimes. It really can be. Like sometimes, this went for like three quid. So sometimes when, this went for like six. I know, what a noisy job to be doing right now, but it is the way it is. These two went for 43 quid. The two Hugo Boss players went for 43 quid. Uh, but yeah, it, yeah, they did. But we just got some really good sales going on. And I tell you what, it just shows you, for me, I'm really fighting the urge to not say anything about how noisy the background is while I've just chose to make a video clip now, Marge. Yes, and I'm trying to be a YouTuber. So when YouTube pays more than these clothes, we will be turning, won't we, Snape? Because that is what's going to happen. Um, it's, that's not what the goal is. But no, it was really good. And I tell you what, just a switch from yesterday, being in a better state of mind. Like sometimes you can just like find yourself in a better bit of a better drift. Uh, you know what? I think the thing is sometimes, guys. I think it is just like, you know, yesterday, I kind of had one of those moments where I went, right, I'm spent. Anybody I speak to, whether it's my mum, whether it's my dad, whether it's anybody around, I'm going to be as honest as possible. I don't want to go for a walk. I don't want to do this. You know, like, you just kind of go, what do I want to do out of this situation? It is like, it's quite mentally freeing. And, and even like that today, I woke up and I was a bit like, just felt like, yeah, today I'm just trying to be a better version of what I was yesterday. So 
I'm not going to make it all mindful, and it is going to be some more things to do with the sale. Today, we've literally got somebody coming in at 12 o'clock for a little test. Uh, I don't know if Marge is like, hang on, wait. Marge, have you told this guy, does this, if this guy is, he's neighbours with somebody who used to work with us, Adam. Did you tell him about the camera stuff? Not for today, but. Well, it was on, the YouTube, it was on Facebook, so. Oh, it was on Facebook, so we know. Yeah, so on our actual advert, we did say, so whoever's like the person, you're going to have to be happy being on the camera because that's just a big, that's a big rule for me. It's a big like T and C for me feeling like comfortable in the space that I'm working at type thing. Um, but no, anyway, we're going to go and get a coffee. I'm going to go and get a coffee uh, and bring it back. And then we are just going to keep it, keep it moving in the right direction, which will be having him coming at 12, shooting out to this sofa place and getting some cool content. And yeah, having a silly goose. Silly goose, silly goose town. Okay, so you're just joining me mid, like, organising some bits and bobs at the minute. But we've just had... So the person that we said the other day on Friday, they were supposed to come and they didn't show up in the end. We forgot to, like, even give an update. So this is someone completely different. Now, he's somebody that lives down the road. Uh, somebody that used to work here knows him and he's just come down now. His name's George. Uh, Marge just took him down there to have a little look. But so far... Seems like a nice guy. Uh, but the thing is with a lot of people, this is just me like separating stuff at the minute for the bails at 3.30, but the thing is, is you just don't know what people are gonna be like until they actually do something. So good good, good, um, good first impressions, which is, I guess, all that really matters. If someone makes a good first impression, all they've got to do is just maintain a good impression. Um, but yeah, just gonna do some organizing bits and bobs with these. So what I'm doing at the moment is just kind of going through the bales and doing it on a, 15 item split, so 10 branded and five unbranded. So that's kind of how I like base the metric for it. I think that the minute we do more unbranded to branded, that's just when the price becomes more reduced. So I'm gonna just really go through all these bags, like these four that we've got right now, and just uh, essentially group these little situations and settings up and see essentially what we've got. We've got quite a big pile of branded, which is a bit more reassuring at the beginning like whenever I go through new bags, I'm always like unsure whether it's going to be all unbranded or all branded. Uh, and that's one of the things, you know, that's one of the things that happens with doing the, like the live bail openings. If, if, I'm, going, if I'm going through live bail openings, speaking of the devil right now, he's coming behind the shop. But if that's what I'm doing, if I'm doing bail openings, like literally like that, that's what I'll be doing. Like I'll go through the bag and show you exactly as it is straight away. So what we're doing at the moment is just separating these bits and bobs. I've actually got full piece suit, look. British tailor, I could get this one on. Marks and Spencer's suit in the cut. So, yeah, all is, ooh. Yo. It says the best number one on the back. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear Marge just asking, asking him if he's got TikTok? You got TikTok? Yeah, I've got TikTok. Don't follow Life at Gully because that's all you see on your feed, by the way. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It, there's, there's, there's zero chill with the way yeah. that I post. It's very aggressive. <laughs> so this is, just found these in here. And I know that people always bang on about them. I'm basically gonna do a video where I kind of go, oh my God, I've just found this t-shirt and everyone's gonna go, what about these, what about these? So I'm gonna uh, take that in my stride. I know it really gets to that point where you kind of think like a lot of what I'm doing is like, obviously just sorting these bundles and bales out at the minute, but like going through these piles, basically separating the unbrand from the brand and doing that kind of capacity. Yo, it's well dark in here. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of like make a few TTVs and then me and Marge are literally gonna get ready to go to this place, which is gonna be really good. Her friend said, uh, well, her friend didn't say anything, but um, hopefully she's told a friend because that's where we're off ski uh, to go and do some content. Right, so with Marge at the minute, who looks three foot tall and we're just going to this one over there. I really hope I left the wallet at work. It's not in any of my pockets. It must be. It's another day of, I mean, I've got my van keys, that's all that matters. But we're going to go into this place now. And this is apparently Marge's friend, so we'll just see. Well, no, she does, she volunteers in here. So she's your best friend, and she's going to say, that's fine to film and all that stuff, right? She might not even be working. Okay, great. 
Right. Okay, there. guys. So this is uh, don't worry. This is for actual YouTube. Unfortunately, I've noticed something recently. Uh, this woman, she doesn't get a good response on some of the TikTok things. And what I've learned about it is that. Uh, when you like working on personal brands, they really don't push content that's with more than one person. So, sad react, but Marge will still be here on the YouTube. She'll still be here in, in spirit. Um, in spirit. But yeah, we're just here currently, just having a little look. So this is like an antique space. It's well designed to be this place that people come in. Oh, what's that? They, like they come in here just to essentially, I think, Yo, city football. They basically come in here to, um, well, it's not designed for, it's designed for anything, isn't it? Well, they donate to here and people can buy sustainable and cheaper items. Yeah, and look, already found this one. This is a quid, mate. 2XL Tommy Hilfiger sweat. Don't know, don't get, come and check, you know what I mean? Uh, there's probably some people who already know this is a spot and they've like kept it as a secret spot, but oh well, I'm here now. Um. What's that say? Two please, oh, two pieces. So, there's some cool old games on there. Look at that Football Express game. That's a pretty cool game, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, it's an absolute random assortment of bits and bobs, but this is what we're coming here to do. We're coming here to find some random bits and bobs, because that's what, I mean, that's what I like to do. You already know at this point. So anyway, just that customary moment where I'm like, I need to get shots of both things. You know, that's the only roadblock I'm entering at the moment is, is like going, I need to make the content in both places. I need to make the content for TikTok. I need to make it for YouTube. We need to merge them both together. Like when we come to places like this, I quite, to be honest, I like coming with Marge. I like coming with somebody so that it's like, I don't just look like this funny sod that's just like filming and doing bits and bobs like that. It can look a little bit more, um, I don't know. It can look just a little bit more like normal rather than me coming in and filming. But luckily, Julia, who's here, sort of said, yeah, fill your boots. You can film whatever you want. Uh, so that's what I'm currently doing. But this is like essentially, uh, this is just like a antique store. This is just an antique store uh, that happens to have clothing because they work on all sorts of metrics of donations. So essentially, they get everything. You know what I mean? Like they get all of it. So I'm just having a little look at the minute. I'll let you know when there's something worth looking at, trust me. Okay, so for anybody that's really curious of this, I'm gonna turn this around and show you. So being at this place right now, so shout out to my mum's friend who's just sort of like, we're allowed to come up here and we're allowed to shoot some stuff. But I'm not sure how much of it I caught. So they, they have some clothing rails here, right? And I've got three arms down here. And I saw a comment by Jacob, who, if I don't put it on the screen, he put a comment yesterday asking two parts to a question. And one part of them was just some, I guess, photography techniques, things like this, uh, and certain things. I was gonna actually lean at the camera up there, but in a TikTok video I've just done, I got an electrical shock and you'll be able to enjoy watching that video as well. Uh, that was all on my own accord because I'm a donut. But I thought what I'll do is I'll turn around, I'll show you the perspective, I'll show you what we're working with, and then I'll go through my kind of mindset and process, and then I'll like le leave this place so I'm not just like taking up space. I mean, I don't think I'm taking up much space, but still. So these are the three items I've just found here. Now this is what's the beauty with like vintage secondhand and selling. See, I could technically go, oh, I'm here now. I'm gonna take photos of all three of these items because of I guess two and three things. The first one, I've got them here ready. The second one, I've got all the light in which I'm gonna go into next. And thirdly, because I'm uninterrupted. So realistically, what I can do with these situations is flick out the old phone, uh, flick out the old phone. Uh, and what I like to do is just take photos in square for the test run. But essentially, what I was doing a moment ago on a TikTok was just taking photos like this to kind of show you how nicely and unfiltered. So this had no preparation. I just threw it on the floor and left it in that condition. And the reason why this looks really nice and something that you have to be mindful of is that this room has a lot of nice natural light coming through to it. I mean, what room have you ever been into where you've got light going all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around? So as a result of this, the item that's on the floor, the item that's on the floor has all of this perspective of light that's just kind of coming into the shop. Now, granted, this is a white T-shirt, so realistically, we're at a bit of an advantage. So I have got a navy one here just to kind of give some slight perspective. But what I wanted to talk about with this is that you can kind of really take a photo very effectively and simply. Like, you know, you think about flat lays and you think about the perspective. Like, this is what I look for when I do flat lay stuff. 
the sort of perspective where anything on this background it's gonna look wicked really like you think about it none of those look shit they all look good in their own perspectives i think that's really nice but that as a result will help sell the item now there's a few other bits that i want to take into consideration with this one of the points i want to take into consideration is that firstly i've used light items i'm fortunate by the the light that i've got but also the floor perspective is very nice now this is a guess essentially this is where upholstery is done this is where like furnishing is put so the floor is just made or is like is kept in that sort of nature yeah that's fine marjorie's just talking to me it's really annoying i kind of said to her like when i come to do the content i'm quite in my own world and she was talking a lot and i know it's she's probably seemed like think like god spend's really uptight but i kind of probably at this point you might actually realize that that's just how i am uh, and how i have to be i don't want to touch any of the walls though i just got like literally enough electric charge to not need a coffee till wednesday next week um, but no, I just want to take this perspective. Just like looking here and, uh, you know, seeing an opportunity really, just thinking this is a great way for me to kind of like, hopefully instill and teach some things that I would consider into this. See, when you're shooting stuff like this, the beauty that I have here, so one of the things that I have that's not a problem is it's inside, right? Inside, it's inside, but you've got light and no wind. So the item is fixed. Once it's down, it's only going to be me that moves it. Now I can move it quite easily to adjust different parts of it. But essentially, because of how the light is so powerful through there, through there, through there, through honestly, absolutely everywhere. It's not above, it's literally just around the room. It's creating this gorgeous sort of like light perspective that's coming across it and it's helping the shadows be raised at the right places. It's doing the same for this one, you know. And it's also doing the same for this one in more of a subdued nature because it's a darker colour that is it's less noticeable. You know, even if you look at the white parts of it, it's less noticeable. But this creates perspective really nicely. So this is just super easy to put down and i'd say that whenever you're looking for stuff like this unless <laughs> unless like i was actually taking the photography for this place and they were like look spencer can you take photos up here i'd say look i'll clean the space i'll leave it sort of a bit rough because the thing is is the reason why i hid that all the muck from the floor see these will get washed in our processes but in these situations now when you're putting items on the floor you could be essentially damaging that item and you know this item that's here, that's white on the front, has to go on the back. And then as a result, you know, look, as a result, I've got all these bits. But how much is it actually going to be shown when I actually do this? Might not be a lot. Still got my foot in it, that's why I do square. But the whole perspective of this thing is, is when you're in moments like this, with lighting, this is where I'd strike. Like, I only think about things like this when I see it. Like, look at that. You did, like this is the beauty with clothing right is when you have something that looks when you've got such a setup that's unreal obviously you don't have to do much to do the most as in this doesn't need a lot of adjustment in order for it to be like banging of its look so this is the clip i'm going to find where, where's she at i think she's up there i'm going to go and find her and i'm going to go and get these items it's a pound a piece uh and i just really wanted to come up here and show you that as an example i thought if i'm not showing you that example in this moment i'm not striking my iron's hot uh so yeah okay so this is all of the bags. I've just brought them out now. Honestly, quite a few kilos have come in. And, oh, speak of the devil, it's literally now. So this is the parcel force man coming, taking all of the bags. Luckily, getting them outside is the easiest thing first. Um, so yeah, they're all on their way to you. Ooh, so, as you saw then, maybe, I just thought, like, brought them all outside. And then I thought, let him just sit on the van and just take them up. Because it is, like, a lot to do. But this is essentially what this young lad will be doing, helping out with. Now, George, if you see this for whatever moment, I'm intrigued to see what his lifting potential is, just because obviously these bears are quite heavy. Um, but, you know, we like an underdog. We like someone who's gonna surprise us. Uh, now it's quarter past three, and I've got 15 minutes because I need to get the computer up, ready for the bail sale. So we'll be selling all of these at quarter past, at half three until five o'clock, and then, yeah, and then I gotta get home for a meeting at six. So yeah, all good things, all going in the right direction. I'm not sure if I made a video, but this is just the last bundle. I'm just about ready to pack it up now. There's me. Um, the time is, if you can see in between there, the time is like seven minutes past five. And I've got a meeting at six. And the meeting's gonna be at home as well. So I'm not gonna be doing it here. So I need to just basically get it wrapped up and get gone. But it was a good live. Um, yeah, it's a good live. I tell you what, one thought I want to just sort of leave you with a moment, and I know I leave you with a lot of thoughts, is like, 
I'm processing this feeling of being overwhelmed. And I think I was trying to understand like whether it was like a mood dependent thing or something. But I think because there's a lot of moving parts and the one thing I would say is, you know, when certain things start to take off, essentially you either require more of your own time to do it or there has to be a neglect of it. But whenever, whenever something does well, you always gravitate to that more than anything else. So at the moment, I'm obviously like, just take it back. Because the TikTok's just going quite crazy at the moment. And it's just like, it's taking it all in. I think because it's literally my face on it. And I'm just thinking about all that. Like, I mean, it is self-appointed. But I was just capturing this moment to have a minute of like, being aware of the overwhelmness, I suppose. It's good though. This is what I asked for. This is what I asked for. I asked to be overwhelmed. I asked to be stressed. No, I'm not stressed. Um, it's good. I think it's just when the thing actually starts happening, it's just like just to watch it, monitor it and process it. Yeah, I just thought I'd like just readdress this overwhelm feeling just because anybody who's kind of curious by, by this side of things, I don't know, maybe, maybe most of you don't like think about these things or you kind of just, I don't know, I don't even know, what, I don't even know how to say this in a way. My mind is just a little bit like, um, you know, everybody's got their own version of something that, that they process, I guess. Um, and yeah, the overwhelmed feeling's a, feeling's a bit mental. Um, you know, because it's kind of like, somebody said to me as well, they're just like, oh, you shouldn't use your first and second name for like anything. And it's just, everyone's got this like weird paranoia. And I'm like, what on earth? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like most information will just be found out as a result of what you do. <laughs> like, especially for me, like, my name is on at the business that I had that people know me for. Like, I don't know. Let me see. I don't want to say there's no shit on me and somebody goes, found something, but I don't have anything that you would, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anything, uh, I don't know. But yeah, this overwhelmed feeling, it's a bit of an interesting one. It's just like, whatever this moment I'm trying to capture is, I can't even articulate it. So maybe that's like the antipathy of overwhelm. But yeah, I've got, more importantly to that, I've got a really interesting meeting now that's going to that's gonna be really good. Very excited for this one because it's just, I say a meeting, it's just the start of something that I need assistance with. And this is somebody's like, somebody who's a reliable source who I trust. So on the next shot, I might be rounding it up, but hopefully coming back with some like intel on how it went. So guys, you join me at the end of a very, it was actually quite a short and sweet little uh, phone call interview. Interview, just like, a, just like a mental chat. That's what I should have called it from the beginning, but it was good. And to be honest with you, it gave me enough perspective on where I wanted to go with the next bit anyway. So I appreciate that to you give me your time in that that moment um plan of action now is just to go to the gym sign this clip off now i think like i think i can just feel an inner change in me going on at the moment um and it's just i guess it's just everything else that's amassing at the moment and i'm trying to stay still and just maintain what's going on and also just maintain like an articulated mindset around these things I guess sometimes when you kind of like you can feel bombarded overwhelmed is that nature of like not knowing how to handle things you know like a clean email inbox is a happy state of being for some state of mind for some people versus like somebody who has like 27,000 unread emails and I guess it's like that it's for me I'm like quite in the mindset of I like to get to the bottom of things but when you have a lot of you know, when you set yourself on a high standard and I put myself on a fucking unfair standard internally, to be honest with you. Um, and that comes down to like replying to comments, replying to everything, replying to things. And this isn't like that sort of pity approach. I, I really, I really don't like that approach of content. I, I just wanted to express that moment. Uh, and it's not a theme. We're, we're in good spirits. There's just a few things behind the scenes that are just kind of going simultaneous to this that's going on, let's just say. Uh, and as a result, I can't really say too much on it. But we're all good. And we surpassed 200 days of doing daily videos. There's exciting stuff coming. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. I think I just need a week to just go to like, <laughs> do this this tour of charity shops, sit and drink coffee, and just flip in and enjoy it, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about that in this moment. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to hit the gym, go and get some more gains. So stay safe, stay sustainable, keep doing you, keep watching the videos if you like them. And if you don't, just let me know what you 
don't like about them. Uh, even if you don't want to carry on watching, just good intel, good feedback. Appreciate you as always, guys, all of you, every single one of you that gets to this point, every single one of you that watches a minute of it, uh, it's all big love. So, yeah, stay sustainable, stay safe, keep doing you, and I'll catch you tomorrow for a load more fun. What we've got in store tomorrow, who knows?